After a lot of back and forth, we finally got this guy to meet with us. Ed Rust, he's a retired cop from Vallejo PD. The victims were still alive when he got there. Right. Um, I mean, he, he could be such a wealth of information. Retired police officer Ed Rust was one of the first on the scene at the savage 1969 Zodiac slang in Vallejo, California. For decades, he's kept a growing file on the case he couldn't solve. So, you know, to be able to talk to an actual uh, first responder, get his point of view from the scene of an actual Zodiac case, nothing better. Could Rust's new information help implicate one of Sal and Ken's top suspects, Ross Sullivan, with connections to code writing and the Riverside victim, or Lawrence Kane, a Navy veteran with code training who was ID'd by another suspected Zodiac victim? Ed, the Vallejo homicide, and we understand you were one of the first responding officers at yes. that crime scene. Mm -hmm. uh, our first patrol car, Dick Hoffman, uh, got to the scene and he says, I got two victims, gunshot victims here. Well, the door, the, the first thing I saw was pulled out or the passenger door was open and there's a body laying on the ground. There's Mike Majo. He had been shot through the neck and had a hard time talking. And uh, I walked around to the car and I felt Darlene's pulse and she, she had a pulse. He just kind of mumbled a little bit couldn't talk because she's just, you know, there and I could see she had well, bullet I'm holes. Sure. I leaned in and she had been shot from the passenger side. Darlene died that night, leaving Michael as the only witness to the cold-blooded attack. I interviewed Michael mm -hmm. the next day at Kaiser Hospital. And keep in mind, he's medicated, shot to pieces and everything. And uh, he told me, uh, he emphasized that this guy was short. He said he was beefy and he had a belly. As we sit here now, were there any suspects that you liked? Yeah, myself, I, I, think, I, <laughs> I think I know who the Zodiac is. Uh, yeah, this, this lives in my mind even right now. Sure. Sal and Ken are meeting with Ed Rust a police officer who was on scene minutes after the Zodiac killer shot two people in an isolated park in Vallejo, California. Ed Rust has spent years pursuing the Zodiac. I think I know who the Zodiac is. War you know, several names, but Lawrence Klein, Lawrence Kane. Well, why? Why Lawrence Kane? Th th that's kind of a complicated story. Kane was associated with this woman named Donna Lass. Now, Donna Lass was a person that worked at Lake Tahoe. She disappeared from her workplace up there suddenly. Car was found, uh, all of her clothing, and, you know, she just literally disappeared, and no trace of her has ever been found. 25 year old Donna Lass, a night nurse at the Sahara Tahoe Casino, went to work on September 5th, 1970 and never came home. Her body was never found, and many believe she was a victim of the Zodiac. Co-workers of Donna Lass said that she knew this Lawrence Kane, and she disappeared. The Zodiac mailed this postcard that may have pointed the way to a grave site. Zodiac works in riddles, and it was a riddle and it's got some notes on it, look through the trees, stuff like that. Someplace in the Lake Tahoe area. Haunted by the Donna Lass mystery for decades, Ed has compiled extensive records that he has never shared with the public before. Oh, so this is what he sent that links possibly Zodiac to Donna Lass. Yeah. Peek through the pines, Lake Tahoe. There's something going on there. Well, we'll follow it up, I promise you. 
With Vallejo victim Michael Majot's description matching Lawrence Kane to a T, and now Kane's suspicious connection to another potential victim, Sal and Ken intensify their focus on the Navy veteran. 